the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> Greetings! Today on Culture Crypt, we present a selection from one of the classics. Our tale is called The Sleeping Beauty. It begins. Once upon a slime, an evil spell was cast on a beautiful and very rich princess. She fell into a deep sleep and could only be awakened by the kiss of a handsome prince. However, her castle was surrounded by a thick, dark, impenetrable forest in which lurked unspeakable horrors. For a hundred years, many a brave prince tried to rescue the Sleeping Beauty. They were never seen again. You see, entering the thick, dark, impenetrable forest meant only one thing. Certain death. Certain death. Not a possibility of death, not a chance of death, but certain death. I don't like those odds, Chuck. It's Charming! My name is Prince Charming! What, the name our parents gave you isn't good enough? No, it isn't. I've changed it to Charming. Or as the French say, Charmant. Charmant? Your accent is excruciating, Melvin. I can change my name if I want to, little brother. After all, I am the firstborn. By ten seconds, big deal. Uh, I mean, we are twins. Not identical! Whoa! Whoa! Easy, Splendor, easy. And what's with the Splendor business? I thought that nag's name was Steve. I'm partaking a romantic quest here, Melvin. Who ever heard of a romantic quest partaken by a prince named Chuck on a horse named Steve? No time to be lying around, Melvin. I've got to pass through the dark, thick, impenetrable forest, enter the castle, find Sleeping Beauty, awaken her with a kiss, inherit her fortune, and live happily ever after. And all before my next tanning session. But the dark, thick, impenetrable forest, it means certain death to enter. So, you lead the way. Me? Yes, my silly, sissified, shrimp-sized sibling. I'm determined to cure you of these irrational fears. Onward! This firstborn stuff drives me up the wall. Ten seconds. Ten lousy seconds. Timing, Melvin. Everything in life is timing. A, a, a hundred other handsome princes have attempted to pass through this forest, never to be seen again. Oh, that really ought to tell us something. And the whole idea of kissing somebody who's got a, 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 a sleeping sickness. What if it's catching? Ah! <laughs> of course, it might be hard to tell the difference. This place is for for full of fauna.
Excellent. Handsome check! Egad! I am in desperate need of a dye job. When is my next hair appointment? A, a week Thursday. Thank goodness. Wake us when we get to the castle, Melvin. Ten seconds. Ten lousy seconds. I told you there was nothing to be afraid of, Melvin. We could pass through that forest in our sleep. In fact, we did pass through it in our sleep. <laughs> Some of us did. We look marvelous by moonlight, don't we, Splendor? <laughs> you finished with ah, the cup. Be quick about it, Melvin. Oh, I look terrible. I, I need sleep. And fresh vegetables. Ah, and a vacation! I'm quite capable of identifying these things myself, Melvin. But it's not safe. you do to the bridge? Well, now all I have to do is hack my way through these... these... Uh, what do you call these vine thingies? Oh, impenetrable. Well? Well, what? What are you waiting for? Start hacking my way through those impenetrables. Maybe we should wait until morning. Oh, stop being such a coward! You see, Melvin, that's why I am a handsome prince, and you're a... a, a Melvin. <laughs> Careful with that thing! Sorry! <laughs> oh, I told you to be careful, Melvin. Go put a Band-Aid on it or something. I'll hack my way through myself. But it's not my... Wyatt! I'm trying to hack. Sh -sh Charlemagne, the vines just opened up. You see, Melvin, all it takes is a little effort. Very little. Melvin? Well, go ahead. Go ahead what? Knock on the door. Just knock on the door. Just waltz up to a castle with a hundred-year curse on it. A castle with a nasty reputation for making handsome princes disappear. Not to mention their twin brothers. Not identical! And just knock on the door? Do I have to do it myself, Melvin? Oh, oh, oh we can't have that. Hmm, that's odd. She's supposed to be the sleeping beauty. It doesn't sound like she's sleeping. And she doesn't sound like a princess. She snores! I don't think that... I, I... suppose there are worse things in life. Such as? Why don't we find out? After you. <coughs> Melvin, you all right? Just peachy. Well, here we are. Yes, here we are. I suppose we should... Call out or something, announce our presence. What should we say? How about come and get us? <coughs> or, or, although a blood curdling scream is just as good. Dance, Sooks, look 
with all this gold and silver and... Put it in your pack, Melvin. As much as you can. What for? If the legend is true, then after you kiss the princess, this will all be yours anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, just in case. In case the legend isn't true? No. In case she's not the beauty she's supposed to be. Oh, good thinking. There must be a hundred rooms off this hall. A hundred and four, actually. And we have no idea which room Sleeping Beauty is in. That's not exactly true. You see, before we left, I made a quick trip to the architectural library. We could check every single room, but that would take hours. I took out the castle's blueprints. Instead, I'll rely on something that's never failed me in the past. Pure, princely, deductive reasoning. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This room. No, not that. Melvin! <laughs> that wasn't Sleeping Beauty's room. No, that was the, uh, uh, bat room. What's wrong now, Melvin? You don't want to know. Melvin, not Burlap. Wait a minute, Melvin. According to your blueprints, Sleeping Beauty's room is in the fourth sub-basement. Or it might be through this door here. Wind? Wind. What are you doing? If anybody tries to sneak up on us from behind, they'll have to go through me to get to you. I see. Like, like a human shield. That's the idea. There she is! Oh! Look, Melvin! Look! She is a beauty. And she is sleeping. What hair, what skin, what a face! The dress is a little dated. She's been here for a hundred years. Righto. Well, time for the big kiss. But first, makeover! Mousse, gel, lotion, oil, spray, spritz, paste, gloss, gloss, roll-up, powder, lipstick. What was that last one? Breast spray. Mmm, wintergreen. Handsome check. Check, 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 check. I'm just warming up. Please, Melvin. Little privacy. Sorry. Melvin? Sorry. Ghosts, ghouls, mutants, ogres, specters. Uh oh. You're so handsome. <laughs> Nothing wrong with her eyes, Melvin. Chuck, she has no reflection. I'm charmed. That's charming. 
And she speaks French. Jack! She... she doesn't reflect. I don't care about her mind, Melvin. How about another kiss? I don't think he should kiss her, Chuck. She's a very... Excuse me. Melvin, get lost. Look, Chuck, it says right here in the Encyclopedia de Monica, the complete compendium of the unnatural, the only thing other than the invisible man that has no reflection is a vampire. Don't be ridiculous, Melvin. She looks nothing like that. Except for the overbite. <laughs> Abandon me, Chuck. Without your mirror. <laughs> Wait for me, Chuck. Hurry, Melvin, hurry. Sorry, too late. Chuck, Chuck. Poor little fella. Hey, I like this room. Although you probably don't appreciate it as much as I do, seeing as you have no reflections. Hmm. Didn't notice this in the blueprints. Melvin! Guys, this is Melvin. Melvin? May I introduce you to the, uh, living dead? I wish you wouldn't. Melvin's blood is much more your type. Type O, as in... Oh! That tastes good! I think I hate you, Chuck. Splendor! Chuck! Wait for me! Too late! Ten seconds. Ten lousy. Seconds. Timing, Melvin! Timing! Ah. Ah. I'm getting a little tired of this. You're tired? Of course you're tired. It's almost morning. You, you really shouldn't drink before you go to bed. Accidents, you know. Sleeping Beauty. Then again, it might be another vampire. Kiss her, don't kiss her. Kiss her, don't kiss her. Ah, what the heck? My prince! Too bad about poor Melvin, eh, Splendor? 
<laughs> oh, well, at least we managed to get out of there with what really counts. Handsome check. Splendor! You! The both of us! Do you know what this means? Good for Melvin. Nice guys do finish first. What a pity about Charming's princess. Who could have guessed she'd be such a pain in the neck? Too bad Charming had such a vain personality. He was a suitor she could really sink her teeth into. <laughs>